Mining shares uh, falling as Mongolia gets set to inaugurate a new leader. The Central Asian nation's new president says a deal cut with Australia's Rio Tinto and Ivanhoe mines by the previous government will not stand according to what's on paper. Steve joins us from Ulan Bator with more on this deal. Steve, the new president elect, soon to be president, doesn't like the language. Well, yeah, and we saw that on the overnight in New York and in Canada and also in London. Rio shares slumping 8% in London. Ivanhoe down some 9% both in New York and in Toronto. Uh, there's worries this is going to delay this uh, mining project further, Bernie. The two miners have invested heavily in what's said to be the world's largest copper and gold project on the border with China, held up by politics in this divided Mongolian parliament here. And it might be delayed even longer. The new president, who uh, gets sworn in later today, he tells me in an exclusive interview that Mongolia needs to get this arrangement right. I think now we are approaching to the final moments to get good agreement. I am open for that. I would like to say to the foreign investors that do not close the door. There is still opportunities. And I will try to find common language with our people, with our parliament. Also, I will try to push my government and to find common language and, and uh, to find win-win uh, proposal. How are you going to do that when the various projects have been long delayed? Uh, Oyotogoi, six years now. Also, Titi, several years now. Many foreign investors, potential investors, potential partners of yours have been waiting on the sidelines. When will this happen? There are certain issues which cannot accept our people or our government. What's, of the, course, what's the biggest option? Of course, there are certain issues also cannot accept our investors. And uh, you know that uh, there are issues, for example, related with the equity sharing. I am not in favor of that. I think government businesses usually go through taxation. You can tax it, and equity sharing, sharing is not very good proposal. And I think now there are more members of parliament, more people, government officials are understand that. And I think now we are working. I think we are open for compromise. And I am open for, for discussion, open for any good ideas. If you're not open to the 34 or the equity stake, which I believe the previous agreement was for a 34% equity stake in Oyo Togoi, does that mean that agreement is going to be scrapped and you're starting over? 34% uh, issue, I think, not very fruitful, not, not good proposal, I think. You know, investors want to invest in Mongolia. Why government is trying to invest? Because we don't have money. Uh, but we cannot get those shares without any payment, you know? And, and, and there's some kind of gridlock. I, I'm still working. I'm eager to work with the foreign investors. I'm saying that do not close door. And there are still opportunities. There are still chances to get to get in, uh, to get the agreement to to get job done. What's the model that you want to push forward? Would it be similar to the one that was struck in the oil space with CNPC, where you would perhaps obviously tax and also take some of the resources as well, rather than having a, a direct equity stake in that project? Model should be like best international practices should be for Mongolia. You know, I think uh, every Mongolian and citizen or government, they don't want to make mistake. This agreement is first agreement, and if we make it bad agreement, other agreements will follow to that bad fat. If we make good agreement, this will be example also for, for, ex, uh, for exploring or for expo ex exploiting other big deposits. And there is no space to make mistake.